I needed help restoring an old farmhouse, so I hired a carpenter. It was a rough first day for him. First, he had a flat tire, causing him to lose an hour of work. Then, his electric saw quit working. And if that wasn't bad enough, his decado pickup truck wasn't starting. I was giving him a ride home, and he sat in the passenger seat in complete silence. When we arrived at his house, he invited me inside to meet his family. We walked toward his front door when he stopped for a moment at a tree. He reached up and touched the branches with both hands. Then he opened the door and it was almost like he went through a total emotional transformation. His once sad face beamed with a smile as he hugged his two children and kissed his wife. After staying for a cup of coffee, he walked me back to my car. As we passed the tree, I felt I had to ask him about what I saw earlier. He looked at me and said, Oh, that's my trouble tree. He explained, I know I can never avoid problems on the job, but one thing is for sure, I don't ever want to bring those problems inside my home to my wife and kids. So I just hang them up when I get home and grab them again in the morning. The funny thing is, he said with a slight smile, when I come out in the morning, they aren't nearly as many troubles as I remember hanging up the night before. We might have troubles and problems that arise in our day-to-day -day life, but it's best to know when to leave them at the door. Try not to bring your problems into the parts of your life where they don't belong. Simply cast them aside and deal with them at a later time. In fact, after some time away, you might find that those problems weren't really that big of a deal in the first place.